I think Bolo was right about the whole microwave beats. You know, uh, I'm one to just show on a demo whenever you pick five sounds and then you go eight bars and you lay down some stuff and stretch it out, mute out your tracks and, and send it off. I got a lot of ideas in my head, but when it comes down to actually making some fire beat, you know, you want to send to somebody. Eventually, you're going to want to send your beats to somebody. And when you listen to the ones you just snapped out, those are like quick emotional, quick, quick beats, you know, good practice, right? But when it comes down to it, you really want to spend that time panning and mixing just a little bit, just touch just to touch each little section just a little bit anything but stock to actually show it a little bit of love um i actually got on my channel a, a comment about not showing love to the sounds that i picked but i was just showing how fast you can do that so like the 10 minute drills and everything like that those are quick songs and some of the songs that i put out on distro kid even uh i'm not even gonna lie i listened to about three or four hundred of them on here and you know, there was just good practice. But to actually put some salt and pepper and the right ingredients at the right time, you know, to bake that cake, dude, it just, it changes everything. Um, so that's kind of what I want to get at today, is I've been messing around with this song here for like the last four days, and I've been really treating it like if it's my own thing something that I want to work with and um, it's turned out to be pretty pretty awesome um, I'm into background music so I like things to be able to be and if it works for me I'll put this in the background in the whole video but I think he was absolutely right about that um, when I'm not making beats I'm in a pizza shop and we just get award after award now but we've been open in almost 20 years. It's going to be our 20th year anniversary. I don't really bring it into the channel too much. But that's what's going on. And we started with no advertising and a lot of hard work and dedication. It was just something that we liked doing. And now it's hard to get. you got to pay for it. But uh, just like in the, in the music business, though, if we microwaved our stuff, Nah, dude. When 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 he said that uh, when you cook an ingredient or you cook a meal, low and slow, you know it comes out better. And he's absolutely right. I mean, you gotta treat it just like that. And again, having two businesses is just random stuff. But if you have two things that you love, it's like you want to give up on one of them. It's like I don't want to do a studio because I have to do pizza or I have to do pizza and no studio you know and the thing is you have to treat it just like your music is what I'm trying to say it's what's coming out okay is it's yours and you have to love it and love both of them the same way you would two of your children they're part of you and you have two kids you can't just love one right same with your business you have to treat it the same way so I'm really starting to put a lot of love into both, and it, it does pay off a lot. I've always, they had to at the shop because it's bread and butter. And you guys can look up the shop. It's called La Pizza, and just look up Best Pizza in St. Louis, and we'll pop up. But yeah, I don't cross too much with that on this channel. It's not what I do. Another person that I actually learn a lot from, I'll listen on my way home, or any time that I see a live stream, is Curtis King. And what he said one day um, that really stuck with me was that he made a video about uh, if he could give himself some advice 10 years ago, his himself 10 years ago, what he would say to himself. And he said, just enjoy the process take a step at a time and that really hit home and he also said and know that success is around the corner and, and you know and it's very very true been successful with the 
with the shop, you know, but I'm starting to see success with this also. And uh, just kind of wanted to document something and let it out there, see what's up. But uh, just finished setting up the studio and I got everything running into my mixer. Everything going into my mixer. Even my TV, dude, we're going into the mixer. And I'm going out of groups one and two from my mixer into my MPC keys. And that allows me to capture any sample that I make and put it into my keyboard and final product goes to my baby here. So if you guys like to see different stuff like that, different music and stuff, if you're new, then um, you can subscribe or like or whatever. Just hang out for a little bit. I'm going to go over all kinds of crazy stuff here. And um, I try to keep up with music. It's something that I have a passion for. Um, along the way, I've met some really cool dudes, some really famous people. I've met a lot of people that are just like me that just like to make music and just bump into people that think we do this all day long. But no, I don't. I don't do this every single day. I try to make time for it every single day. And I think I do a pretty good job. Really, the only reason I think I need the 100,000 subscriber milestone would be because it's... Um, it's a plaque that you get once you get so many subscribers, right? And I think whenever you get that, you know, no copyright strikes, no, no nothing, you know, you have to have a pretty legit channel, right? Um, now, when you get that plaque, you can take it to a school and say, hey, I, I have, you know, a plaque on this. It's the only credential I have. You know, obviously didn't go to school and get you know, any degree until I was older. You know, I got uh, cybersecurity and all that stuff, but I want to sit behind this desk. <laughs> I know I want to learn how to program and do all this stuff, but uh, I enjoy this very, very much. So, that being said... <clears throat> there's a few things left like I watch a lot of videos and a few things that stick with me or you know there's so much time in a day and if all that time was money you would wake up and try to spend it all right and try to give it away try to do everything well if you look at your time like that it's just as valuable you know in a weird way What else weird can I go over while I'm just rambling on here? I'm really just testing out this background music to see if it's legit. I love Wawa. Wawa is like the best gas station in the world. I think I could quit doing everything and work at a Wawa gas station and be happy for the rest of my life. <laughs> they have everything. Anyway. Again, I go over different ways to hook up all kinds of weird gear and I try to answer every question. Sometimes I don't get them for a month, so if I don't answer, you know, it is because I didn't get the, the dilly bop. That's the noise it makes whenever the message goes through. It goes dilly bop. Uh, yeah, I'm hungry. Okay. Gotta go. Big fat burrito time. <laughs>